guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a what I eat in a day. I'm about to go make my usual breakfast yogurt bowl along with some pancakes. I'm really excited to share with you guys my favorite pancake recipe that I've been making a ton lately. I've been on a huge pancake and waffle kick, which is like kind of rare for me because I feel like I just tried so many of those oat flour, oatmeal pancake, those healthy ones. Um, and they always just came out super like gummy and raw and kind of weird in texture. So I was turned off by pancakes for like a really long time. But I think like two weeks ago, I started really craving pancakes. I think it's cause like blueberries started coming out again. And I was just really craving like blueberry pancakes. So I think I tested like 20 different variations of this pancake in different ratios of ingredients. And after 20 tests, I think I finally nailed the right ratio of those ingredients from like what to dry. So yeah, I'm really excited to share with you guys these pancakes. They're actually really fluffy and not weird in texture and really good. So yeah, let's go make some pancakes. Okay, before making the pancakes, I had my daily yogurt bowl. I just love starting my day off with this because it's nice and refreshing and also really high in protein. I didn't show how to make this just because every other what I eat in a day has this recipe. So yeah, moving on to the pancakes. So we're starting off with a liquid. So some non-dairy milk, apple cider vinegar, applesauce, and some maple syrup and vanilla. And then we're going to add in some oat flour, potato starch, and potato starch is what makes it super fluffy and soft. And then we have some baking powder and baking soda and cinnamon. And then I'm just adding a couple blueberries. You don't want to add too much or else it kind of weighs down the batter. And then we're going to cook them on medium low for five minutes on both sides. The key to oat flour pancakes is low and slow so it has time to cook all the way through without burning on the outside. These pancakes are super fluffy and soft on the inside and the outside is slightly crispy and it's so good. So I just finished eating breakfast and now I'm going to be taking my multivitamin and these are the multivitamins I've been taking for the past couple weeks. They're from Ritual and they're specifically made for women and I love that they cover everything from vitamin D, vitamin B12 and omega 3s. And what I really appreciate about Ritual is that they're really transparent with their ingredients and they come from 100% vegan sources. What's also really nice about them is that they don't make you nauseated. Like I know some multivitamins and omega 3s especially make me feel or used to make me feel really like sick. Um, these ones actually taste minty or like pepperminty so it's kind of refreshing to take and you can actually take them on an empty stomach I just take them after breakfast because that's just like my routine now but yeah you can take them on an empty stomach and they don't make you feel nauseated at all which is really nice and these are also really convenient because they are subscription based so they come straight to your doorstep every single month so you don't have to go out of your way and remember to go buy multivitamins every time you run out they'll just be at your door and it's just really convenient and for me personally if it's coming straight to my door I'm more inclined to take my multivitamins since I have them on hand anyways they were also really kind enough to provide 10% off your first three months if you are interested so click the link down below to access that discount hey so I'm back for lunch I just finished a bunch of work and did a workout um, I'm hungry so I'm gonna go find something to eat downstairs um, I don't really know what I'm gonna make yet but probably something really quick and easy I just made some lunch and here we have this saute tempeh ramen noodle bowl. It's basically just some peanutty ramen noodles with some bell peppers and cucumbers. And the tempeh is marinated in a saute sauce and I just air fried that for a couple minutes to get it nice and crispy. And yeah, so this is lunch. And then for something sweet, I just have some cotton candy grapes because they're finally here. They're only here for like a month I think and they're so good. If you haven't tried them yet, you should. They taste like cotton candies. For a snack, I had this whipped turmeric latte with these go-go quinoa chocolate chip cookies, just as a little something for dinner. But for dinner, Eric's gonna come over. It's actually our two-year anniversary, so we're gonna make some burgers together. It's one of our favorite meals to make together, and then, yeah, we're probably just gonna hang out for the rest of the night. Okay, I wanted to show you guys how we make our burgers. I think we make the best epic burgers, but basically it starts with my mom's homemade burger bun with some lettuce. Well, actually in this case, I think we use spinach um, and some cucumbers. Then the tenders, we usually use the chicken patties, but it was sold out like everywhere. We went to like five different grocery stores and ended up with the chipotle tenders, which I actually think was better. And then some onions, kimchi, cilantro, ketchup, Dijon mustard, Japanese vegan mayo, guacamole, potato wedges, and tomatoes. I know this burger sounds crazy, but it's so good, especially with the kimchi, guac, and cilantro. 
I don't know why, it just works. Okay, and then you put on the bun. What bun? <laughs> Ate the inside because I was really hungry, but it's fine. You have more room to stuff stuff in, so it's good to pull out the insides of the bun. You know what I'm wow. saying? <laughs> Happy two years. Get off your phone. <laughs> Burger shop opening 2021. <laughs> okay, for dessert, I totally forgot to film it, but he got us some cupcakes and I made this matcha red bean cake for him and we had that for dessert. But yeah, that's everything I ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.